there's a lot of economic activity that goes on around the stadium that uh, creates uh, pedestrian and vehicular traffic flow. We caught up with Orange County Mayor Jerry Demings at the Florida Classic Luncheon, where he says this first-time measure provides for a safer environment. The two universities here are committed to making certain that the students do what they're supposed to do, but also the uh, patrons and the guests who come here for this event, they're coming because it is a safe place. That's why it has been here for 25 years in a row. This law was established in July, allowing special event zone signage to be placed by law enforcement. If there is a traffic violation, there will be double the fines and vehicles may be subject to impound. In Orange County, Carolina Cardona, News 6. Developing tonight, the Justice Department now says it is appointing a special counsel to oversee criminal investigations into former President Donald Trump. Jack Smith, who has been with the DOJ since 1994, will now oversee key aspects of investigations, including if any one person was involved in organizing the attempt to interrupt or stop the transfer of power on January 6th. The other focus will be on the classified documents that were discovered at Mr. Trump's home in Mar-a-Lago here in Florida. Garland says two things were behind his decision. Decision. One, Donald Trump announcing his candidacy for president and President Biden's hints that he may run for re-election. More on the Attorney General's announcement along with reaction coming up on the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. That's coming up right after our newscast. Well, it is one of our favorite times of the year at News 6. We are once again teaming up with the Salvation Army for the Angel Tree program. And remember, last year you helped get results for 6,000 kids and seniors in need. And this year, with the rise in price of just about everything and inflation, many families are in need again of being angels. Let's get right out to Matt Austin and Lisa Bell at the mall at Millennia tonight. And we are always so blessed that our viewers and partners who give so much to our cause, and we know they'll come through again for us this year. Well, you know, it's the key, ladies, when you're trying to get 5,000 gifts under the Christmas tree. You have to have a great organization like the Salvation Army, and you have to have some amazing partners, and that's who we're talking to right now. Absolutely. Joining us now are the Bryans from BFAR Contracting. <laughs> so good to see you guys again this year. You well, you first teamed up with us last year. It was your first time sponsoring the Angel Tree program, and since then, you have not slowed down. No, we've become good partners. It was, it was this day last year when we met. Since then, we've been involved with them weekly, uh, doing food drives and passing out food in the Paramore District, and, and uh, it's become a, become a friendship and partnership through the, through the last year. And you see the work that they do year-round firsthand, and you're really putting your money where your mouth is. Well, I, I didn't know everything they did, and after getting involved with them, it was pretty cool, and, and uh, you know, they're leading the way, and we're following, so it's, it's been nice. It is pretty stunning when you go out there and you see yeah. all the... We do one little thing here the angel tree they have so much stuff going on every single day and Brian you guys did something special this year the other Brian uh, to, <laughs> <laughs> sorry it's hard to manage uh, to, to raise some money for them tell us what you did yeah so what we did so starting in April of this year we decided that for every roof that we do we're gonna take a portion and set it aside from the homeowner and from beef our contracting for Salvation Army so what we did is we put it in the proposal we let the homeowners know and up to year to date this year this is what we have to present to Salvation Army so all throughout the year just so we're clear you and your customers have been collecting money to support the angel tree program well we start, started in I think late April okay um, but we just saw it, it thought it'd be a good thing to do and 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 a, a good contribution from us and them and this is some breaking news yes it is Captain Ken Chapman we're gonna slide he has you no in here clue what's about to happen see these guys a lot and I we're gonna do guys. it live on news six at six so we would like for you to do the honors and present this this check. Wow. Twenty-one thousand seven hundred dollars to buy gifts for thousands of angels in the Central Florida community this year. That is incredible. No, we're happy. We're happy to do it, and and uh, you know, looking forward to next year already. So wow. we this are, is we the are start so of, grateful. It's what the do start you think, of the Captain? Angel Tree program, and and we'll be with them through Christmas. Well, they blew me away. Not only with this, but they once they did it last year, they found out what we were doing during the week. They come out every Tuesday and go on street outreach, helping people who live on the streets every Tuesday of the year. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. Putting their money and their time Absolutely. where their mouth is. This has to make such a huge impact, though, for the Angel Tree program. 
program. We are trying to help out 5,000 angels this year. And when you get a check for $21,700, that goes a long way. That puts us far down the road. Yes, We're that grateful is wonderful. to be far. All right, well, you take it, sir. I, I, I don't want them, I don't want them running the out of here yeah, with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Captain Kim, Ch Kim yes. Chapman. We've got BFAR contracting. Thank you guys so much awesome. for your support Very and partnership. Generous. Yep, you Appreciate do you great guys. work in our community. BFAR contracting, great partners. Yeah. We'll yep. send it back into the studio now, ladies. Are you for real? That is incredible. These guys are, I mean, <laughs> seriously, yeah. I don't need a roof. I'm just going to put a new roof on top of my good roof because I, these guys are so incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them thank you. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, and I will say during the during Hurricane Ian, they texted and asked if we need food. So they're just on they top of everything. They are angels on earth. <laughs> yes, seriously. Okay. Developers say this program will revolutionize the way Orlando grows. The city beautiful now getting ready to unveil its digital twin. Next, an in-depth look at how this program works and why officials say it'll help investors, companies, government visualize how they're